My name is Evangelist Mike City Quake, Michigan. Today, we went out to Southland Shopping Mall. I met a young gentleman named Justin. He gave me his number, and I said, you want to accept Jesus Christ as a personal savior? Today, he accepted Christ as his personal savior. We left, went to another location. I don't know if that ice cream place, whatever they call it. Met a couple more people. The manager, she accepted Christ. The um, young fella, I met two people accepted Jesus Christ today. A guy came out of nowhere. He said, come here, God told me to buy you lunch. He bought me lunch today. And I'll tell you what, you take care of God's business, God will take care of yours. Hi, my name is Justin here at City Quake in Michigan. And today while I was listening to David talk and he was giving his testimony, I was right there and then living out part of his testimony. So while Satan doesn't attack retreating armies, he attacks advancing armies, which means that you are right where God wants you to be because it is in opposition to Satan. As soon as he got done telling that story, my wife texted me saying that our two-year-old's favorite fire truck um, actually just got ran over. And that was just like super disheartening to me. But then he was also talking about how we need to flip the script. And so I'm just like, no, I am right here where God wants me to be because Satan is actually attacking my family right now. And so I pulled somebody and we like prayed for protection over my family. And then he just got done uh, talking about how God cares about the little insignificant things and the little toys and stuff. And so God just told me to pray that the fire truck be fixed. And so I did that prayer and then God told me, okay, tell your wife. So I told my wife to go check on the fire truck and that it was going to be healed and fixed. And so she replied and she's like, actually my dad can fix the fire truck. I was just like, wow, God really does care about the little insignificant things, even a two year old's little fire truck that got ran over. I'm right. Jen. And I'm Roman. And we're at City Quake, Michigan. And today we had the privilege of being the hands and feet of God. We went to the park today and we really felt that God was leading us there. And we saw a man just standing watching some, some of his kids. And we, we went up to him and we said, hey, do you need some prayer? And he said, nah, man, I don't need prayer, but my buddy needs prayer. Yeah, and so he, <clears throat> he turns to his buddy and he says, this guy needs prayer and throws him under the prayer bus. And then we, like, we start walking over to him and he says, hey, hey, Brian, these guys are going to pray for you. And I was like, okay, yeah, okay, let's do this. So we went over there. We said, hey, are you Brian? He's awkwardly, he's like, uh, yeah. So then we just start talking to him. And uh, Jin starts just speaking things that just, like, we can't remember. And I just start saying things we can't remember. We just know that we just started preaching the gospel to him and started just speaking life into him. It's just all just Holy Spirit. And then by the end of that, he says to us, so how do I do that? How do I go about that? And so I just said, I was like, get on your knees, let's pray. So we all three of us get on our knees and he receives Jesus right there. And uh, yeah, he got baptized in the Holy Spirit and Jesus did an awesome thing. Hey guys, my name's Ryan. I'm here at City Quake, Taylor, Michigan. We were out praying for people. A woman was on her cell phone. It's called the cell phone technique. I said, ma'am, can I pray for you? She says, I'm on the phone, but I'll be right back. She runs into the laundromat, she comes back out. She says, I'd love to pray for you, but my daughter's in a hurry. And I said, ma'am, can I give her a gift? And she said, no, my daughter's in a hurry. So she didn't really feel like talking, but when her door opened, I looked at the girl, a young girl in high school, and I told her Jesus loves her so much. And I started to share the gospel with her. And as I started to talk to her, I said, have you ever thought about giving your life to Jesus? She said, yeah, kind of. So I shared a small testimony. She ended up giving her life to Jesus Christ all because a small interruption in someone's day to interrupt their day to share the gospel to her daughter, 16-year-old Julie. She gave her life to Jesus Christ, so I'm thankful for that. Step out in your faith. If you care, you share. I love you guys. Hi, I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Katie. And we're at City Quake, Michigan. And today we went outreach together. We went to the mall, mm -hmm. and we were walking around, seeing who should we would talk with, and we saw a custodian. And we've heard just from uh, different speakers, they're like, custodians are the easiest ones because a lot of times they're <laughs> overlooked and they're so hard working. So we blessed them with some cash and then we asked if we could pray for her and she actually didn't speak any English. So we were like, 
what do we do now? So we ended up, we were just like, hey, God wants to bless you. He loves you. We were wondering if you have any pain, any ouch in your body. And she could understand that. So she opens up and shows us her leg and she says, this hurts here. And so Katie's like, do you mind if we pray for you? And so we got down, we prayed for her leg and she like started going like this with the awesome like surprised <laughs> face and started crying and she honestly started worshiping like right there in the mall. Freaking out. And it was awesome. And although there was a language barrier, we were both like understood what was going on, that Jesus was there yeah. blessing people, healing people, and it was an amazing experience.